Hello and welcome to Stray Robot Bytes. This series will be covering how to set up and make the most of the awesome Stray Robot. It will be one video per topic, so it should be easy to follow and find. And when relevant, example import code will be supplied within the video description to quickly accelerate your implementation of Streamer.bot. So let's get on with the topic today. For our first video, we're going to be covering the download and installation of Streamer.bot. This can be downloaded easily from Streamer.bot. As with any software, be sure you download this from a trusted source. So Streamer.bot or the Streamer.bot Discord are the places to find this. So we simply click on the download streamer bot. It's a zip file of the bot and its files needed. It doesn't have an installer, so you can put it wherever you want to. So for me, I want to put this into the desktop. So I'm just going to put all those into a folder called streamer bot. And then we're ready to start. We simply just run the streamer bot. .exe. So if you have something like a stream deck, you could have a button just to press that to launch that program. On the initial run, it might prompt with a safety message. Uh, that's because there's no reputation there. It's not because it's a virus. You may notice there's three folders created when you first run it. The backup, which backs up the settings every single time the bot is run. This is really important to have in case you need to revert some settings. We have a data, which is where all the settings are, and you have logs. So if something unexpected happens, it's a good place to look at the logs to see what's gone uh, in there to get a clue. Within the Streamerbot interface, there's various different um, areas. We're going to focus just actually connecting it to Twitch first, and then we can show some other features in other videos. So the Twitch connection is through settings and Twitch accounts. So settings on the top tab, Twitch accounts in the second. To connect to Twitch, we simply click on the connect to Twitch button. This is going to prompt with the currently logged in user. For, for example, it's my broadcaster account here. And it's going to give you a, um, a run through of what it's going to have permissions to do. So these are needed to give it the rich, detailed experience that you want from the streamer bot. So I'm going to authorise that, and we can then close the window. And that's going to show up now in the interface. Now if you want to use a, a separate account, a bot account, for sending messages or doing parts of actions in the channel, you can connect a separate bot account. Now again, we click on Connect to Twitch, we can see it's picked up myself, my broadcaster account, but I don't want this. My bot account shouldn't be me. So I'm going to tell it to log out. I'm going to log in as the bot account I have. And then it's now picked up correctly where we can authorize that. We can close the window down. And we can see here, if you want to use bot account for messages, you can tick that enabled. I like to have auto connect, so whenever I start up streamer bot and auto reconnect, we will then be able to know that the bot is connected through to Twitch automatically. So that's it for today. Clicking on save settings and viewers is good after any actions. And let's wrap this up. And that wraps up this video. If you found it useful, please like and subscribe to be notified of more videos like this. If there's something you'd like to see covered in a future video, please do let me know, either in the comments below or on Discord. If you want to see the bot in action and for other examples, please check out my Twitch channel. VRFlab.com here has links to that as well as my social media and also directly to the bot. Other links around the bots, including others that provide streamer bot content, can also be found in the description below. And finally, Thank you to Nate for making such a great bot. Um, he can be supported via Patreon, and that's also linked from the streamer.bot web page, but it's here, uh, patreon.com slash nate1280. Thank you all, and bye-bye.